Hi, I'm Miguel Bell with Curated, and today I'll be reviewing the Cleveland Launcher XL. Hey, we're out here at beautiful True North Golf Club in Scottsdale, Arizona. First off, I'm not sponsored by any brands, so these are my original thoughts and opinions. There's a lot going on with this club. My overall impression is that they tried to pack a lot of technology in this, and I think it's at a value price point, so you're getting a lot. I think it's gonna be a winner for a lot of people. It is very forgiving. I feel like on miss hits, it still put me pretty center in the fairway. So it has an adjustable hosel, which I love. I love adjustability. So you can go from a nine degree loft all the way up to a 12 degree loft, and you can even set it to a flat lie angle, which is very interesting. And it's gonna help a lot of people have the ability to work this club and fit it almost to themselves. Another thing that it's got going for it is this technology that they kind of got from their other brand Strixon. It's got the rebound frame and they're saying that it has flex points, not only in the face, but there's a band of metal that's a little bit thinner that goes around the circumference of the club, and that also flexes. So you've got two areas of this driver that flex in order to provide that trampoline or rebound effect that they call it. In the grip, it's back weighted with eight gram weight, so it counterbalances it. They put strategic weighting in this head to give you a lot of forgiveness, to give you a lot of moment of inertia, MOI. But to offset that, they've actually put that counterweighting and it just makes it a little bit easier for you to swing that head. It is big and it allows you to get really aggressive with, with it, which I think a lot of people are gonna like. They're gonna like that they can swing hard with this club. So I think one of the weaknesses, in my opinion, is that even though it has an adjustable hosel, it doesn't have any adjustable weights. So this is a very forgiving club head, but it does kind of have some properties that allow it to be spinny. That is to say that other clubs give you the opportunity to move weight forward closer to the face, which reduces spin. This club doesn't. So I definitely think that's a weakness, especially if you are a high spinning driver like myself. If you are a low launch kind of person, this isn't gonna be for you, but the launch is high, the ball flies out there, and I think that's actually a positive for a lot of players who struggle getting the ball airborne. This club's gonna help you get that launch angle real high and get it up there. The distance on this, I was averaging about 250 yards. And that's a little bit low for me, but that's the trade off for me with this type of club. This is more forgiving, maybe not as far, but I do think that for the overwhelming majority of golfers, that this club, due to its launch angle, due to its forgiveness, is gonna get them the distance they want with the forgiveness, so you kind of get the best of both worlds, so to speak. I like aesthetics of clubs, and in this one, you have a matte black finish on the crown, which really looks nice when you address the ball. There's no reflection, there's no sparkly stuff that's distracting you. There's a bit of a meaty head, and it just seems very confidence-inspiring. It is a big head, so that's definitely a positive for people who want to feel more confident. That big head makes you feel like you can't miss the ball. I know that sound can be important to people, and in my opinion, this sound took some getting used to. This is like a lower pitched muted ping. It's not offensive, it's just different. And I haven't really heard another club sound like this. One of the things that I think uh, should be considered about this club is that it's a great value. There is a lot of technology in this club. There's a lot of forgiveness, there's great distance, and it comes in significantly more reasonable than other higher price drivers out there, but you're getting a lot of the technology to help your game. I don't think this club is the best for people who have a very steep angle of attack and create a lot of spin. This is not a low spinning driver. So if you are someone who needs low spin, this is not the club for you. This club is very forgiving. It gives you a high launch. So if you like a low launch trajectory, this also isn't for you. I'm gonna recommend this club for a lot of people. Like I said, I think that this is gonna help the overwhelming demographic of buyers out there. There are very few people who don't want forgiveness. There are very few people who don't want distance. I think that this is gonna sit well with players anywhere from a 20 plus handicap all the way down to a 10 handicap. If you'd like to chat with me about how I can help you get some clubs, please visit my profile at curated.com or text me at 415-874-0167.
And if you like this video, hit subscribe to watch more from Curated.